I'm going to be showing you how to screen record on your PSP. No capture cards needed, just your PSP and your computer. Let's get into it. So first off, your PSP is going to need to be jailbroken and on custom firmware. If you haven't already done that, I'll put a link in the description to a tutorial on how to do it. But assuming most of you have, we're going to be using a plugin. For our first step, head to the link I've put in the comments, and that's going to take you to this Mediafire page. And we're going to click download. As you can see, a download window is going to pop up. Just save this wherever you want on your computer and remember where it is. Okay, so we're here where we downloaded the file. We're going to left click and extract here. Now you may need to install the WinRAR application to be able to do this, in which case I recommend searching for a tutorial. But for most of you, you should just be able to click extract. As you can see, we're going to be presented with these two folders. We now delete this file. We're going to head into the remote Joylight 20A folder and look for this .prx file. You can find this by finding type and looking down until you find PRX file. Once you've found it, just right click and copy. All right, now we're gonna plug in our PlayStation Portable. So once you've plugged your PSP in, I recommend you arrange your screen like this with your PRX file on the left and your PlayStation Portable on the right. So on our PlayStation Portable, we're gonna make a folder and we're gonna call it SE Plugins, all lowercase. Just like this. Now for some of you, this might already be here, in which case, just go into it. So no matter whether you've just created this folder or you already have it, ignore what's ever in here at the moment, just don't touch it, if there is anything. We're going to head over on the left here and drag our PRX file into this SE Plugins folder. Now I suggest full screening the SE Plugins file, and we're going to make three new text documents in this folder. So you're going to right click, new, and text document. The first one we're going to make is going to be spelt game, all capitals, G-A-M-E. The next text file we're going to make, all capitals, VSH. The last text file we're going to make is POPS, all capitals. So once again, if you already have these text files in here, don't make new ones, just use the ones you already have. But if not, just make these text files. Now you're going to head into the game document you've just created. There should be nothing in here, but if there is, don't worry, just move on. And you're going to enter this exact line of code. Now I'm going to have this in the description of my video, so you can just copy and paste this over. But otherwise, just type this in very carefully, keeping in mind there is a space between these two letters. Alright, once you've done that, you're going to hover over it and you're going to Control c copy it again and save the file. Once saved, you can successfully close out. We're going to head over to VSA. So once again, you're just going to paste this in here, save and close out. Finally, you're going to open up the POPS file you've made. Once again, copy that line in, save and close out. And now with that done, we're going to head over to the PSP. Okay, so switching over to the PSP with it still plugged in, for everyone it'll say USB connection on here and not this. But while your PSP is still plugged in, just click circle and that should bring you back to the main menu of your PSP. We're going to click the select button and if your PSP is already jailbroken, you'll have this new menu here. We're going to scroll all the way down to recovery menu as highlighted there. I'm going to click X to go into that. So once we're in here, we're going to scroll down again until we reach plugins as highlighted and click X. Now you're going to be greeted with this page depending on whether you have other plugins or not. It will show not only the plugins we've just installed but the ones you already have. So for me I already have some other plugins so that's why there's heaps of options here. But as you can see the disabled options those are our remote joy .prx files the one that we've just installed. So we're going to scroll down to each of them, hover over them, click X to enable them and just do that with all the instances here. So the game and the pops Make sure that's all enabled. Now we're going to click circle and we're going to scroll down here to reset VSH and that's going to reset our PSP. So once the PSP has rebooted and is on the home screen, this next step is very important. Disconnect the USB end of your connection to your PC and reconnect it. So just a simple plug out and plug back in. Relocate these two folders that you've installed, head over to libusb, double click to enter this folder and run infwizard as administrator. Just click next and now once you get to this page you're going to scroll down and select PSP type B. You're then going to click next, then next again and save this somewhere that you'll remember. So just do it in the same area you save these two files. So once you've done that you should get this window. We're going to hover over install now and click it. This may take a few minutes and once that's done you should get this pop up and click OK. Head back over to that remote joy light folder you initially installed, the one with the PRA file and you're going to launch remote joy light underscore en while your PSP is plugged in and as you can see we've launched the application and my PSP screen is showing so we can full screen this and here you go it's working I can move around and it is recording so to actually record this yourself just grab any software recording software that you use and just record this window so I'm using OBS so as you can see it's recording my screen so now as far as I can tell there's a couple side effects of this and that the PSP isn't discoverable on your computer anymore with this plugin so you're not gonna be able to transfer files while you're running this plugin 
but you can just go into recovery menu again and then into plugins and disable these plugins reset the vsh and your psp should be discoverable again so if this didn't work for you just go in disable the plugin reset the vsh then go back in enable reset the vsh and then do the same plugging in plugging out technique and launching this app i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and comment any recommendations that you want for another video